So I'm super excited because I leave for Michigan very soon. Like, I'm gonna wake up at 1 a.m. to drive to the Denver airport by 2 a.m. Um, because my flight leaves at 6 a.m. And right now it's like 7 11. <laughs> no joke, it's 7 11 at night. So I've already dropped Ivy off to her boarding place for the weekend. And I just got done getting my meals done. It was a um, it was a coffee event for the unit that Connor's in. Like spouses have coffee groups and traditionally they used to be literally coffee groups, but now they've changed and evolved and sometimes you have coffee and sometimes you get your nails done and sometimes you do escape rooms or fun stuff like that. So I just got done with that. I think I need to get cash back because I don't have an ATM anywhere around here because my bank is like only in the southeast region. So I need to go somewhere and get cash back and then I'm going to go to Target and I know this is a really bad idea, but I don't know. I just really feel like I need to go to Target. Then we go home, finish packing, hopefully get to lay down for a couple hours and then go to the airport. So it's like crazy that it's getting closer, but yeah, I still have a few more things to do. I tried to do a little bit last night, but it's just been hard to do it with this eight game or nine game homestand leading into it. But <laughs> thankfully we made it, we survived. Oh my gosh, I never want to have to do a nine game homestand again. Like that was exhausting. So hopefully I'm not in Target for five ever and I'm smart about what I buy because I we all know I really struggle with Target and then I can go get dinner. Oh my gosh, I have to go get dinner. I forgot about that. And I'll get cash back when I get dinner and then I'm gonna finish packing. So uh, hopefully I get some sleep today. So I am extremely tired. It's like already quarter after nine so it's later than when I wanted to like already be laying down in bed. But I'm finishing packing and I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna be done. So I'm packing, I thought maybe it'd be like interesting and cool um, for me to share what I take on the airplane with me. Um, I always take these same things. It's like very important for me to have these things and so I'm gonna share them with you. Okay, so I always try to take like a book to read. You gotta have a really good sized tote bag too. Sometimes I take my purse, sometimes I, I take a switch back. Um, maybe it's easier if I just like I don't know. These things are awesome. They're expensive at the airport, but if you buy them ahead of time, you can take them through security. A nice little snack to have. I cannot stress to you how important hand sanitizer is when you travel <laughs> or like wet wipes or something. Clorox to go wipes. People probably think I'm nuts for this, but like I will wipe down my seatbelt, my seat back table tray, my armrests, like everything. I, no disrespect to the flight attendants, I'm just trying to not get sick. Traveling is a nasty thing. Um, gum for takeoff, and just, it's good to have when you travel in general. Um, <coughs> headphones, super important, duh. Um, where's the rest of my carry-on stuff? I usually take my own airborne. You're probably sensing a pattern here. I don't like to get sick traveling. These are, I like to buy my snacks beforehand because airport stuff is expensive so I'm in love with RX bars they're really great they kind of act as a meal really so I'm taking one for tomorrow and then one for my flight home um, OBS my wallet I'm going to organize this bag better um, obviously chapstick medication and last but not least, my iPad. Um, that's, it gets me through all my flights. So that's what's really important to me when I'm trying to um, prepare for a flight. And then I carry at least one of my chargers in here as well. So, so I'm gonna go shower and then I'm going to get in my bed and take probably like a four hour nap. I don't even call it sleep. And then get this weekend started. Okay, good night for now.